Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss example 2b. Determine whether the following function is one to one or not. So now I'm going to use the algebraic method. So we will have g x sub 1 is equals to g x sub 2. So now I'm going to substitute the x sub 1 and x sub 2 into the function. So we will have x sub 1 square plus 4x sub 1 plus 1 equals to x sub 2 square plus 4x sub 2 plus 1. So next I'm going to completing the square for both sides. So we will have x square for sub 1 plus 4x sub 1 plus bracket square inside there we will have 2 minus 2 square plus 1. Next, we are going to simplify. For this part, and we will have x sub 1 plus 2 bracket square minus 4 plus 1. And we will have x sub 1 plus 2 bracket square minus 3. For the left hand side, Let's focus on the right hand side. Again, I'm going to completing the square. So x sub 2 square plus 4x sub 2 plus bracket 2 squared minus 2 squared plus 1. Next, I'm going to simplify this part. And I will have x sub 2 plus 2 square minus 4 plus 1. Finally, we will have x sub 2 plus 2 square minus 3. After completing the square into the standard form, next I'm going to simplify the situation for both sides. So we will have x sub 1 plus 2 bracket square equals to x sub 2 plus 2 square for the right hand side. So simplify. So x sub 1 plus 2 equals to square root of x sub 2 plus 2 square. So in here we will have positive and negative plus minus. So finally, x sub 1 is not equals to x sub 2. Since x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2, thus the function for gx is not one to one function. So now I'm going to discuss example 2b by using the graphical and the horizontal line test. Step number one, we're going to identify the value of a. So which is the coefficient of x square. So in here a is equals to 1 and a is greater than 0 so we can know the shape is a u shape or we can say minimum number two we are going to find the intercept so for the y intercept when x is equals to 0 y will be equals to 1 another one when y is equals to 0 we will have x square plus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. Now we are going to find the root or we can say the x intercept. So with the help from the calculator, we can see that the value of x is equals to negative 0 0.268. x is equals to negative 3.732. That will be our root. Step number 3, we are going to have a standard form for the function. So we will have gx is equals to x square plus 4x plus 1. So now I'm going to completing the square for the function gx. So we will have x square plus 4x plus bracket square. Inside here we will have 4 over 2 which is equals to 2 minus 2 square plus 1. Next, we're going to simplify. So we will have x plus 2 bracket square 
minus 4 plus 1. Finally, our standard form would be x plus 2 bracket square minus 3. That will be the standard form for the function gx. From the function gx for the standard form, in here we can know the minimum value or we can say the minimum point. So in here, the minimum value will be equals to negative 3. For the minimum point, the answer will be equals to negative 2, negative 3. So based on the information that we have from 1, 2 and 3, so now I'm going to plot the situation. First, I'm going to plot the intersection, which is x equal to 0, y equals to 1. So we will have over here. And it is named as 0, 1. Next, I'm going to plot the x-intercept. When y equals to 0, x is equal to negative 0 0.268, approximate over here. So we will have negative 0 0.2680. 0. Next, the third part, we will have negative 3.732. So estimation, locate the point over here. So we will have negative 3.732 and 0. Next, we will have our minimum point, which is equal to negative 2 and negative 3. So approximate over here. So finally, our graph will be something like this. That is the graph for the quadratic function gx. So now we are going to determine whether the function gx is 1 to 1 or not by using the horizontal line test. So now what we have to do is to have a line which is a horizontal so I'm going to draw a line. Here we have another line. So as we can see that, based on the diagram, we have intersection between the graph and the line. So based on the diagram, now we need to determine whether it is a one-to-one -one function or not. So based on the situation, we have a horizontal line test and we have a graph. And we can see that the line, which is a horizontal line, does intersect the graph twice. So we can make a conclusion that gx is not one-to-one -one function. So here we are and thanks for watching.